Why can't we be friends? 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 Hello, my name is Moscow Flock of Flame, and I'm here to rock. You probably thought these were glasses. They're actually headphones, and I'm joining out to a song called Why Can't We Be Friends by War. It's a great song, and it, it, it really explains, not an answer, but more of a curiosity of why can we not be friends? And the answer is we can. And the answer is that there has been a huge sabotage against this because when we do become friends, um, that's a problem because that's a human connection and that is the most dangerous thing this planet is capable of. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm Oscar Flock of Flame and I'm here, this is my pilot episode of my new YouTube channel. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Today's the day I finally do it. And it's been a culmination of things. Um, I've just been really into just, just not, I guess philosophy you call it and why things are happening the way they are because everything is so fucking weird. And I don't have the answers necessarily, but I do have the questions. And I want to start this YouTube channel because I just want to get more like answers to my questions. And I can't bring this up, this stuff up at fucking parties. You can't fucking bring it up in fucking school. You can't fucking bring it up at the dinner table with your family. Although this is where I started. But um, yeah, it's just so condensed. But I feel like I just need to find that right echo chamber. I feel like we all do. I feel like we all need to communicate in a time where the game plan for the fucking world powers is fucking divide and conquer. It's that simple. Every fucking person on the fucking TV is meant to get you to fucking hate your reality, hate your fucking neighbors, hate your fucking siblings, hate your fucking wife. Dude, the fucking, I mean, it's it's so crazy how divided we've gotten and they're just slowly just chipping away, chipping, chipping, chipping away, chipping away. And I can't, I can't sit by and watch it anymore. I really can't. I gotta fucking come in. I gotta fucking, I gotta find more people who think like I do. I was fucking walking today. I was walking out there when I'm just fucking walking and I didn't have a mask on. Obviously, it's fucking outside. I mean, I wear a fucking mask when I fucking go in fucking places because I don't want me in. When I'm fucking exercising, I'm going around, I'm not gonna wear a mask. And dude, I fucking walked by this dude and he smiled at me and gave me nucks. And it's like, dude, we shouldn't have, we sh like, it took, mo like, I ran by 20 fucking 30 people that whole day. And it's just like, it's just one guy. It's just like a little fucking, a little spark. And that's all you need for a fucking fire, guys, is a little fucking spark. And, uh, you know, we're on the brink of civil war. And so we got to fucking really fucking digest why we're here. And what the fucking frameworks and the fucking architecture of the systems that have been put in place since birth. It's like, we're raging against the system, we're raging against the fucking machine, we're raging against fucking the old, fucking the Illuminati. No, we're raging against ourselves. We're, we're honestly, the battle is, is all in your head, it's all in your mind, it always has been, ever since birth. And that's the thing, once people start attacking self-reflecting instead of fucking outward projection of, of dystopian reality, like, we're just gonna fucking figure it out. We're gonna find each other. We're fucking every generation in this whole fucking world is evo evolutioning. Or you know what? That's not even the word. Evolving would have been a word. But that's not it either. It, I'd actually call it more of a mutation. Every fucking generation is just different than the last one. We we're almost it's like a relay race in time. And they're handing off what they got, but we interpret it completely differently. So every time it's like a mutation. It's not, you know, there have been devil de evolutions, period, for sure. We're in one now. The fucking kids in my fucking brother's gauge, who's a fucking high schooler. I mean, god damn, that's uh, we are not looking like this is why I'm coming out here. This is the motivation. These fucking kids are lost. And I'm not trying to be the fucking shepherd. I'm trying to fucking tell these kids to fucking just trust their instincts. My brother fucking told me fucking they're putting fall uh no no football in fall. It's like these kids are getting their minds fucked with. Hard. And I mean I did I am too. 
I mean, we're all part of it. We're all fucking, we all fucking watch TV. It's so bad. It's so bad in TV. Get to a certain point where, I mean, I'm a YouTube guy now, but still, these fucking ads, these fucking little fucking things, all the fucking algorithms, we all see it. Once they got rid of the chronological order on social media, it's, it's completely hijacked now. It used to be fucking, you know, not fucking great. But, like, it was fucking cool, like, seeing shit. But now I don't even see anything the people I follow post. It's all fucking, like, the big accounts that I follow. No fucking, no fucking real connection. No human connection. Fucking, I always fucking hated fucking, always fucking hated preschool. I always hated fucking school. I was in preschool. I'd always fucking, my mom be like, Mosca, flock of flame, what do you, why don't you want to go to fucking preschool? I'd be like, my toys are so much better here. There is not, there's no one telling me what to do, there's nothing, my creativity is flourishing here. I fucking have playdates if I want, I'd have the neighborhood, you know what I mean? It's like, we would go there and we, you know, and then you get into the older grades and you, you learn how to do, you learn how to read and write, and that's, that's important, obviously, but what else are you learning how to do? Are you learning how to get up when the bell rings? Are you learning to clock in your 9 to 5 every day? Are you learning to sit in a desk in a fucking one-person hierarchy? In a fucking monarchy, a mini-monarchy in each classroom? And, dude, I love some of my teachers. They're not bad people. It's the way it's set up. It's, there, it's being in the desk. It's being inside. It's fucking everything. And we all know this. And we all just sit by idly and don't expand on it at all, really. Like, I never fucking wanted to come out of the fucking shadows and have to fucking open up like this. But it is so bad. So bad where we are. The echo chambers are so... Like, we... Right now, our echo chambers of how often we get to talk deeply are just getting just closed and closed. And we gotta fucking break it back out. And it is a heartbeat, so it will, but it really just comes down to us taking the action. The fucking, I mean, YouTube is it's probably what this is going on with my first one, but honestly, in 10 years, I could see it being a personal, my personalized website. And there being no fucking, not, no sites owned by tech gods and it's just everyone has their own website and it's personalized and you link everyone to what they want to go to and all this so i'm just getting content going early i mean late in my opinion i'm always on my ass about fucking starting this shit but i want to fucking interact with you my goal for my i have i have a fucking battle plan i'm like george Patton in this bitch i'm like fucking bill belichick with my playbook right now i have so many ideas so many ideas to incorporate new people i mean i'm telling you you guys the reason I can't stand TV anymore is because I know I'm funnier than these people. And I know most of my friends are too. Like, I'm not even saying this. Like, I'm the fucking, I'm the funny guy. I'm saying this like, these are not the funny guys. We still got to find them. Like, I got kids in my group that I wish I could listen to a podcast and just all day ranting. I have one buddy who sends me them and they're like on Snapchat and it's him ranting. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. And yeah, do I have to like know them a little bit to like find them funny? Yeah, of course. But I'm telling you, there are some people where, I mean, it's just so much untapped potential. And it's just never, it's never put in the school system how to make, I mean, they're teaching you, still teaching you how to take tests, how to get a job, how I make, how to make a video. How the fuck do you blow up now? How, what, what are we still giving them PowerPoints at these companies? Or are we making fucking short, short movies or commercial to sell your fucking pitch? Like, I mean, realistically, like, are they not, they're just not giving us the tools. We have to go get them on our, on our own. And that's where I'm at. I'm trying to come out here and re almost reach out to you guys. So, like, my idea for future videos is bring people on that anyone that hits me up comes on and we zoom for, like, an hour. Like, just anyone, any fan of the future fan, I probably won't have any, but any future fan that wants to come on, like, just just to talk, just to connect a little, like, I mean, I'm going to obviously have, like, my friends on and stuff, but, like, even just to bring people out of these echo chambers, just connect, just this connection is what we're fucking striving for, honestly, and I honestly think YouTube is, like, the biggest breakthrough of humanity, humanity, no cap, like, bigger than any 
any technological breakthrough. And I say that because for so long, for so long, we're, we, we just are taking orders from the fucking, the ch- it was the fucking church, and then it was the fucking scientists, fucking teachers, whatever, fucking police, anyone, you know, it's a, it's a hierarchy. But um, now you can go on YouTube and you can learn about it all. You can fucking, you can literally, like, for example, I've learned these softwares from my major, and like, you can literally, I just look, go on YouTube and learn it. It's so much, it's so easy. I got like just my boy on YouTube who just is like funny and like stuff. Like, and he's not, he's not filtered. He's not an employee. He's his own employee. He's on his own schedule and he's, he's, he's got his own perspective. It's not a perspective that's being regurgitated from the superintendent or the fucking chairman of the department. It's his own perspective. And that's what has been stripped away from our society. In most jobs, if you're working for someone, you know, there's a hierarchy. When we're all just on YouTube channels, this isn't a job. This is just an open fucking circle, like fucking fourth grade. I fucking love the open circle. That shit was awesome. There'd be like some gossip, like someone would be like, whoa, dude, this kid said like penis. And it was like a big deal. Blah, blah, blah. And they'd snitch. And then we'd have like an open circle about it. And I'd just be sitting there geeking. And we'd be talking about some kid that fucking said the P word. For like an hour, and I'd be like, "This is this is like I wish I had this camera to fucking write that." And I would just be like, "Videotape this shit. It's fucking gold." But yeah, we're gonna bring everyone in. And it's gonna be awesome, and I, I can't wait to get my friends on here. Those perspectives, your perspectives, fucking everyone perspective. That people I disagree with, we'll get some fucking debates going. Even though no one's fucking right, no one has the answers. No one has the answers, but we gotta ask the questions. I don't have the right answers, but I have the questions. I'm telling you, it's not about being right. They te- they're trying to teach you taking tests. It's about getting, to- okay, yeah, here we go. This is what it's all about. This is a big answer. Why. They teach you in school. It's all about getting shit right. You want to score the best on the test, get the most questions right. Pretty much every fucking subject. But what does that teach you? That teaches you you have to get the same answer as everyone else. Do you know what that does to your creativity? Do you know what that does to our, our the original intent of our fucking species? We are here not because we're good at hunting, not because we're good at fucking uh whatever animals do, flying or fucking fishing. I mean, we are good at fishing, but like, you know what I mean. And it's not because of any of that. It's because we fucking shred the guitar and we're fucking making movies and make fucking dope shit. We build the cool shit. And that these this system where it teaches everyone to get the same answer, to be on the same page, everyone has like the same like religion, everyone has like the same shit. It's like you're just destroying creativity, destroying potential, destroying free will, destroying humanity. And we all have free will, and we're all going to figure this out through YouTube and through the honestly YouTube on its way out. Like, when I start really getting into the shit I'm trying to say, um, I'm going to probably get demonetized and shit. Whatever. Like, I don't even, it's not even about that. I just want to fucking connect. Just connect with the fucking people, man. Connect with people that are on the same page. Because I walk around sometimes, and my faith, it is not high when these fucking these fucking parents got their kids with masks on. When they're stripping their children of their identity so young, it's like I just feel like really sad all the time about it. It's like it's not a time to get sad. It's a time to get fucking glad, baby. It's a time to get so hyped. You guys have no idea the tidal wave we're about to fucking create. The shit that's about to go down is not like. The shit that's already gone down is nothing compared to the next couple of years. I started getting in like conspiracy theories and the fucking the puppet hand when I mean I was just fucking senior, junior in high school. Whatever, it wasn't like that huge into it. But man, like or like for example, like before COVID, the September before COVID, my dad's like, yo, call um call me at our college and he's like Yo, like, check out the new Bill Gates, like, documentary on Netflix. So, like, uh, I said it to him. I swear to God, I will have him on one episode. He's going to vouch. 
And I, I go, no gates, fuck no, dude. He's gonna like take over the world with like a virus in like 20 years and give us all vaccines and shit. And then, I mean, I'm not saying I'm right, but you get the gist. It's like, it's just like the more, I never like, I just looked into it for entertainment. I thought it was all funny. I thought it was funny how like, you know, these politicians are like fucking got all this smoking crack and shit and like doing shady deals. I like, they're all like war criminals. I just thought it was kind of funny, honestly. Like just just George Bush like walking around and talking. It was just it's just funny to me. Like Donald Trump's the little I mean, I forget who said it. I fucking remember about this. But he is the fucking greatest comedian of all time. He's the only one that can get up on stage for eight hours straight and just kill no matter what. All he has to do is this. And he kills. It's like these people are like literally and he is he is WWE. He is reality. We know that we can't put the dots together. We can't see that it's all reality TV, and I don't know why, because we love reality TV, and maybe that's why we watch it so much. And honestly, it's not even politics in my opinion. I call it reality TV, but it isn't reality TV. It's just as scripted as the Netflix shit. Real reality TV, good shows, even in my house, it's good thing about like cops, fucking. Uh, Bar rescue, something like that, children, you know, just fucking real people, just getting in those echo chambers, hearing something, just a new perspective. Just a new, a new I've watched cops and I'd be like, oh, that's a fucking good shirt on a cop. I would have never heard that before. It's like so specialized and shit. And that's the key. It's just like the people I just knew, like on fucking school, it are just so much funnier. Like these dads from my hometown, I barely know. I just, funnier than fucking like Conan and fucking Kimmel and fucking Chloe and fucking Kim and Kylie. Get the fuck out of here with that Kylie Jenner bullshit. All that fake shit is so unattractive. But they're not even like just teaching us to divide. Like that's what I'm trying to get at. They're just lowering your belief in your own free will. They're literally just stripping away the content from yourself. They're just chipping away at you letting them make all the decisions because you're too fucking scared to. And for a lot of my life, like I'm still fucking young. I'm in my fucking early 20s. And I just fucking, I'm still like, you know, have doubts about myself. I'm still like, you know, I haven't put my shit figured out really. All I, all I know is like, you know, I fucking believe in myself. I'm not going to fucking work for fucking get all the other, the answers everyone else is getting because that would just get me stuck in the same place but I don't know just bathing in mediocrity it's like they just teach you that they teach you to get the same answers they teach you to get the same answers I don't get it they teach you it's all about fucking money it's like the best things in life are fucking free I just want these relationships I think in 10 years the currency they, we won't even have money it will all be about relationships and you know, if you if you need something done, like a contractor might not fucking want even want the money because you the money won't matter. But if you fucking know a contractor and you need something done, or, you know what I mean? It's like you gotta fucking just have these relationships. And like even now, if you know someone that would do the job, it just makes the whole process smoother. And I mean, money isn't even backed by gold. I mean, if we really, I'll make I'm gonna make several videos on every one of these topics. And much, much more. And I'm gonna fucking do dope shit for them. Fucking shredding, fucking spear fishing, fucking just fucking talking. I just literally, if you have any like product you want to just sell, like I just have anyone on, I'll do a full fucking Zoom call just on what you're selling, just on like where you're at. And like just spread it all through one channel and we'll just be a fucking community. I don't even want to see my channel. I just want it to be fucking ours. I want this victory to be ours because it's not about fucking arguing, debating. Well, I have kids on for debates. So that's fucking right. But it's not like debate because I'm wrong. I just got fucking questions. Right? I'm just like, why is this this way? Why is this? I don't fucking know. I think the fucking first one, it's like, okay, like you're retarded, you're crazy. I'm like, yeah, I fucking know. I didn't get a fucking PhD in fucking anything, but it fucking feels slack to me. Sorry. You've been up there? You walk on the moon? Me neither. It's just like, 
I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I mean, who, who created the Big Bang Theory? Can you guys tell me? Because I do research on that shit, and I still don't know. I do research on anything, because it's all the same. But um, you guys know who created the Big Bang Theory? Yeah, it's um, a Catholic priest. Yeah, so the guy who destroyed religion is like a Catholic priest. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's just, it's because they're not religious. They're fucking, they're evil. There's so many, like, it's so deep. It's just like, I mean, why do all the mobsters wear the cross? Why are they all so religious? Why, I don't know. It's like, you know, we're taught to think anything before Christ is illegitimate. Think about that. Our whole calendar, the only reason it's 2020 is because Christ died 20, 20 years ago. What the fuck is that shit all about? Think about that for a second. The only reason it's 2020 right now is because fucking Jesus died. And the fucking old people, you know, BC, AD, it's like anything BC is not taught in school. Anything before Christ is not taught in school. I, mean, I fucking think, fucking, I think flat earth, fuck that shit. That shit doesn't even fucking matter. Like at all. Like it just doesn't matter. It fucking could be on a desk of some scientists. It could be the fucking heart of some god where all the bacteria. And fight and get sick and come together and fucking in the bank and go. But I'm saying, like, what is it? We could be fucking, I mean, that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, I fucking think, fucking, they say we, we only got to the North Americas like recently, you know, with all the fucking before and after Christ shit, because they're trying to make it seem like we were on this evolution path and white people are like, you know, the kings of everything. And, you know, like, oh, like, cancel white people, all that shit. Like, I mean, I'm not them. Like, it's just di different people. So it doesn't, I don't even take offense to that. I don't give a shit on white people because white people suck. White people suck. White people suck. Like, I mean, we're, I have fun with my, obviously, not with my friends are white, but like, I mean, the top tier of each, like, the top tier worst black people are nine fours, the top tier. Words like people. Same with any other race. Talk to your words. Or you, you, Kim Jong Un is like a meme compared to like the fucking top top white dudes. They're fucking nuts. Bezos. Yeah, that's not great. It's all vertical integration. It's all just, you know, all the like everyone, all the small business got their fucking. I'm not even a fucking Trump guy, but like, because this shit's all, it's not like the election is, has ever not been rigged. Hey, you that guy, but I mean, come on. I mean, if we really want to run through it, I'll, I'll run through it real quick. It all started with fucking Bush senior. Fucking he started out as head of the CIA, got brought on with Reagan, fucking tried to blow Reagan's head off. That didn't work. Still got in office after. All all chill, all chill. Um, but then he fucking every president wins two terms, right? Which is fucking true. Which is why I don't forget that. But fucking Bush Senior didn't win second term either. Because fucking Bill Clinton was running against him, and he was the fucking governor of Arkansas when Bush was the CIA head, and Bush was bringing in coke through Arkansas. They made a movie with Tom Cruise. My parents went to high school with Tom Cruise, and they made this movie about, and it's a true fucking story, about how fucking Bush and the CIA, Bush was at the time, bringing a ton of coke in through Arkansas. That's what story is about. I don't shit. Anyways, but Bill Clinton was the governor, and he was in on it. So when um, fucking Bush ran for the second term, Clinton ran against him. He was like, "Hey Bush, I know where you, I know where you hit the bodies. You're gonna have to give me this one." So then Clinton ran with the Bushes. They're all friends. They're all such close friends. And then you know Clinton, and then fucking Clinton gets in. He does a fucking you know a bunch of fucking bad shit. Crime bill, fucking bunch of trade deals, bunch of other trade deals, and some shit. But they're all, it's like, it's not like I'm diminishing them to make my point for another candidate. They're all, it's my point where they're all bad. So it goes Bush Republican, he did it in the most I don't even want to get into that yet. But fucking Clinton comes after him, Democrat. Don't get me wrong, Bushes are, are the worst. Of it. So if you're a fucking Democrat, fucking, we're good. Um, and then the next, well, who's fucking, and then it was the next fucking Bush. And then fucking, he was fucking. And Dick Cheney, Dick Cheney, pretty much. Everybody's talking to him, but we all know what happened there. He 
besides the 9 11 shit, even, even 9 11 escape is like not even important anymore. So far past that. But it's like, it's more about like George Bush being a Republican and saying he's going to lessen the federal government and then he tripled it. And it's like, it's just like to show, it's to get you to get behind someone who stands for, you know, something that is just shit. That's what all politics is, is to put the, like a TV star, good at lying, up there, and for have, to have you worship them, when in reality they're bad people. So it tricks you into being a bad person. And I've seen it happen. I've, the people that worship politicians, oh my God, they are just, they're just like possessed by a demonic spirit. And I'm not even a fucking, trying to be a wolf or anything, or like get spiritual in you, but it's like, really, that's what it is. Like, People put bumper stickers of them on their car. They never met them or like seen them do anything. They just, it's all ideological. It's so fascinating to me. But um, anyways, we're going, we're not talking. Bush is fucked up. He fucking, I mean, we fucking know that shit. And then Obama comes in and fucking, he's fucking doing fucked up shit too. He's fucking signing bills where he can fucking do all this fucking propaganda and all the news things and they can all be, you know, privately like, Dividing us and shit, and they just fucking drone strike and fucking more people on any fucking president. Yeah, the technology is advanced, but he's fucking still doing it. Fucked up. <laughs> fucking, um, oh my God, Trump comes along after him and fucking, he goes at him with the immigration. <laughs> and it's like, and that's the whole thing they, they have us do tug of war over is immigration. When um, in reality, Trump didn't build the wall and fucking Obama built the fucking cages. It's like all to like fucking just to confuse you. It's all just this, this illusion of just like confusing, just to distract you and not be able to look within and you're not focused on your own like problems when you have all these fucking politicians with their own problems on TV. You know what I mean? It's so, it's so just, it's just a big distraction. That's the best word. Even if it is just like, even if it is just like, you know, it's just a fucking distraction. Just a fucking distraction. Fucking distracting you from the real problems. I mean, Trump's not talking about immigration in the first debates, and it's all about building the wall, and then it's like not a thing. It's like that issue, they've already used that to do what they want to do, so it's done. It's not like we're talking about immigration at the next debate, and he's in the next debate, and he's in. You know, it's fucking, it's all, you know, on to the next problem and forget about the last one. On to the next problem and forget about what we did with the last one. That's the new fucking slogan. Term. And yeah, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Why do we need leaders? Why do we need to be led? Honestly, when in the fuck in the world has there ever been a leader that has done good? Really unifies fucking people. I can't even think. Of any, when you're talking, you know, especially recent times, I mean, come on, it is just so blatant what's going on. It's so just the fucking suppression of just human connection. Think about it. any fucking conversation you have with a person. What the hell are you trying to do? It doesn't matter if it's a fucking person on the street, fucking person, a job interview, friend, family person you fucking hate any one of those things when you're talking to them the whole time every time you're just trying to connect you're just trying to connect you're just trying to have a human connection and you notice i said people you hate too when you're fucking fighting and when you're chirping same thing you're trying to do same connection like mike tyson when he's throwing a punch oh he's just connected oh oh he didn't connect with this guy on an emotional level okay he didn't fucking you know, put his arm on his shoulder and ask him how his fucking family is. No, he fucking connected. He fucking connected. Anytime you're talking, you don't fucking talk to fucking talk in a blank space. You talk to connect. When you talk to put this world back together, at least most of us do. And I know most of us actually do do that because only the people that have the fucking spotlight don't. And they're only put there because they don't. And they're fucking, that's why they're so not funny. Because most of the funny, all the funny people don't want to go along. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. All the funny actors and everything, they're all, 
they're not around anymore because they're all they all go to their own horn. All the fucking actors that are fucking real, man, they're fucking gone. Not even actors, most people know that. Actors. But all the comedians and they're like Chappelle is in the front. He's not doing any more shows, man. He's on his own. Same with fucking you know, all the fucking big guys. It just inspires me. It's not about the fucking money. It's my favorite things are not. It's not money. This fucking system of money is gonna be gone. You fucking for you. I guarantee you. they're already taking away tax. Get it fucking ready. It's all gonna be fucking social credit score fucking crazy shit. But so it's sustainable and you fucking we fucking get out of this shit and work together. We can break away from the system and build our own. That's what we have to do though. That's what we have to do. And we're all convinced that we can't. And it's because of fear. It's just, it really is just the biggest problem is just fear. And every fucking thing on that news is just a thing of fear. Like, get the politics out of it. What are they playing when there's no politics? They're playing fucking guys murdering the whole fucking family. They're playing fucking, like, fucking car crashes and fucking forest fires. And fucking, it's all the same. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's all connected. And it's all... It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all your perception. It's when you fucking start breaking away, like they know when these numbers start dropping on these new channels, which they already have, they know. And there, there just isn't a lot of stuff even on YouTube now, like blogs and fucking podcasts that I know of. I fucking, I fucking, I'm ready. I'm ready to take it to the next level. We're ready to evolve as a fucking species. Let's fucking go. I'm so fucking hyped for you guys and myself. We are going to fucking go from average to absolute savage. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. There's some sweat equity right there. I want you guys sweating for this shit. I want you guys working for it as hard as fucking I am. And it's not work. It's not work when it's just fucking imagine if fucking our jobs were just to fucking ride on horses and fucking shoot fucking bison and fucking you know, fucking like the fucking good old days, fucking fish together, fucking know that if that's your job, oh my god, is anyone killing themselves anymore? No, you fucking might get eaten by a bear, but at least you fucking go out like a fucking savage and not in your fucking mom's basement and choking around a thing of fucking antidepressants, fucking Adderall. Maybe, maybe, maybe quick one of these, huh? I don't know. Maybe figure, take a puff of a thing and figure it out. I'm glad. I'm glad that worked out about that. There's a sticker on this bomb. It's a very important one. And it's a slogan to InfoWars. Or one of them. And I don't necessarily, you know, I don't support InfoWars as the news. Because when I tell people I watch InfoWars, it's like, this is the news. This is comedy. It's all, it's all Netflix. It's all, it's all comedy. It's all entertainment. It's like when the fucking rush, um, fucking Roman fucking king was fucking had problems going on he had to distract to create the coliseum to create entertainment to create comedies that's what they were called they weren't even called stories comedies fucking crazy so that's what this, this fucking is it, it, i mean info wars like it's just comedy and it gives you a new perspective from doing that so i'm not i don't think uh, alex jones has it all figured out a lot of the conspiracies i believe in he doesn't whatever it's whatever but it's a perspective and that's why you listen to right I mean, I gotta listen to CNN bullshit whether I like it or not, because fuck it, it's all fucking old, the fucking airport, fucking winter, you know, wrestling for uh, fucking bullshit. But, you know, same with Fox, same with fucking all of them. All of them. But, um, yeah, it's just fucking, uh, that bang rip him. That bang rip just reminded me. Cool. So I have this fucking slogan sticker on it, and it's, um, there's a war on through the mind. There's a TED talk also. Uh, Graham Hancock, a great guy, I like him. Fucking, um, and his TED Talk is called The War on Through Your Consciousness. Same idea, but um, it's, you know, it's, it's a little mind control esque, but it's like he talks a lot about uh, Graham Hancock does in his TED Talk. You, you know, you find it if you look up banned TED Talk. Ridiculous. But, um, yeah, so um, he talks about how, like, all the fucking shit we're, we're trained to, like, 
my coffee and my booze and fucking all this shit. Nicotine, like it's all like short, even the fucking antidepressants, it's all short highs, fucking, you know, you gotta keep doing them, doing them, doing them, doing them, doing them, short highs, fucking, you know, and you're not getting a lot out of it. You're getting like a little bit of energy, but it's an energy source. Like, I mean, he talks about how the ancients took all these drugs and shit. And like, if you, I mean, if you haven't taken shrooms yet and you're fucking over 30, like, I mean, maybe figure it out. Maybe take a puff of the woods and figure it out. But um, yeah, I mean, he talks about it. It's just like not addictive and it's just reflective. It's just, and I, I mean, I've done that shit a little bit. Nothing that's not fucking out of the ground, though. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's so fucking. Um, so reflective. It's not addictive. You, you know, you go through a fucking bad trip on some shrooms and fucking. You, I mean, the worst trip I ever had. It was the best day of my life. It's just like the yin and the yang. It's the heartbeat, man. It's just like you just reflect. And I haven't done like a, I don't do a lot of big trips at all anymore. And it's just like that's the one. That's it. That's all I needed. And it's the literally the best day of my life. And I learned so much. I learned so much. I'm fucking tripping out, closing my eyes, talking to these fucking beings, and it's just all body language. And it's just, oh, it's taught me that tone of voice is so much important than what you're saying. And I might have been a little fucking energized, so it's not a little coffee. I'm a little, but you know, when I get the boys on, we're smoking a little more chill. But like, I gotta get this message out. I gotta fucking, this is my pilot episode. I've had fucking, why can't we be friends? fucking playing in these headphones the whole time. This whole time, it hasn't stopped on shuffle. I mean, not on shuffle, on repeat. And it's just been going. It's just been going and we've been going. And I can fucking, I have no idea. I'm recording this on Zoom, by the way. And I have no, it doesn't say how long it's recording for. And let's ride. Let's ride. But I mean, I guess, I think I'm looking at the time and it looks like a lot of time's gone by. So I'm actually gonna finish this one. And I'm gonna make a part two. I'm gonna start a part two after. Because I'm not even fucking close to it. Um, and it's a Wednesday. It's fucking it's that hump day motivation, baby. You know, you have a it's a heartbeat. First week, then first half of the week, Wednesday. Get that motivation, baby. We're about to fucking pop off. We're about to pop off. I can feel it. I can feel it in my my veins. I've had dreams of this shit. I've had dreams of this shit. I'm fucking so excited. Can't wait. Can't wait to meet you all in the future. Let's go. Let's ride.